Kul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer your prayers and do everything for you. Whilst you make the life of your own brother miserable, you make your own brother feel uncomfortable in his life. How could Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer your prayers whilst you're on the social media insulting your own sister, your own brother, bringing your own brother or sister's naked pictures out? How could Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer your prayers? You make your own brother or your sister's life so miserable, disrespecting them, insulting them on social media, and you are expecting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to answer your prayers? Give me a break. You can be Ali Sunnah all the way to the top or Tijaniya, or any other sect, all the way to the top. But it doesn't care. If you insult your own brother, or you disrespect your own brother, or hate your own brother and anything, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't look at your, 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 your sect. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at your iman, and how you obey Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You need to forgive your own brother before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you. Forgive your own sister before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you. Do good to your people, to the people on the edge and the one on the top who make a rama to you. How could Allah accept your supplication once and you you expecting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make your life so easy whilst you make the life of your own brother not easy for him? Hatred, envy, everything. Your brother in faith cannot sleep because of what you did to him on social media. Your brother in faith is suffering because of what you what you did unto him on social media and you will go to church or you go to the mosque or any second one and you are expecting God to answer your prayers? Give me a break. You raise your hand top and down and you are asking Allah to forgive you whilst you cannot even forgive your own brother. We meet in the same church, the same masjid, we do everything all together, but we don't talk to each other. We got hatred and envy in our hearts for each other. And you are expecting Allah to forgive you and make your life easy? No, give me a break. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care how many times you go to Umrah or you go to Aj or you pay zakat or you do salah or you do a, 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 a fasting. Allah don't care about that. If your heart is not good, it's not good. If your heart is not clean, it's not clean. Make the life of your brother so easy so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make your life so easy. How many times you see people queuing into the masjid or going to the masjid but they came out stealing people's shoes? How many times you see that? How many times you see an imam fighting with, with your congregation? All this is happening in our society. We need to change and clean our heart. You refuse to accept and forgive your sister or your brother, and you are asking Allah for uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you. Oh, uh, no, man, it's not easy. It doesn't come in that way. It doesn't come in that way. The hatred and the envy in our society must be taken out of contact and thrown in the trash. You make the love of your own brother or your own sister on social media, you insulted them. More than 10,000 people view it, and do you think? Life is going to be easy for you? No way. No way your life is going to be easy by insulting people on social media. Don't think because you are a Muslim, you insult a Christian. God doesn't care about you being a Muslim. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came for the all humankind, not for all the Muslims. And God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is ar-Rahman and ar-Rahim. You make the life of your own brother or your own sister difficult for her or for him. And you think, I'm in this sect, I'm in this sect, I'm in this sect. Who knows about your sect? Your sect could be a better sect if you watch. That is your sect. Love everything you love for yourself. Love it for your own brother. For Love it for your own brother. Your sisters and your brothers are crying each and every day for you making their life so difficult and you are expecting Allah to forgive you. Anything that's between you and God, God can forgive you. But anything between me and you and you insult that person on social media, you need to come, the same social media, come out on, the, on that same, uh, what do you call it, social media 
and ask for forgiveness in front of everyone. That is how that person can forgive you. You insult him on public, you need to come out and ask for forgiveness on public. Answer this question for, him, for me. Who is a Muslim? Answer this question. A Muslim, who is that? Who is a Muslim? You think you being a so-called a Muslim, you praying, that's it? No, 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 no. Then you need to go and read your book very well. You need to go and read the Quran and the Sunnah very well. Am I a good Muslim? Maybe I'm not a good Muslim. Maybe you are not a good Muslim. Maybe my heart is not good. I'm not clean. Maybe you are not clean. We are all trying to be perfect and no one is perfect. I can be wrong and being a lot of mistakes, a lot of sins, which maybe I don't even know because I'm not clean. And you are not clean either. You insult someone? You think you are clean insulting someone? Come on, give me a break. Someone who come on social media saying, I will do this to you on social media. I will insult you. I will show you. I will bring this naked picture. I will bring you all this and that. Give me a break. You are nobody. I am nobody. I'm a pieces of sand. You're going to go. You're going to die and get buried without no nothing. No even mobile for nothing. No followers. No, no nothing. You could you will be there by yourself. And then ask, ask all your questions. You are nobody. Give me a break. I am nobody. Give me a break. You cannot be saying, no, no. You don't know me. You don't know me. Me, I'm in this, I'm in that. No one is perfect. No one is nobody. No one is nobody. You are nobody. I'm nobody. We are just a pieces of what? Sand. You die and get, get buried. We don't know nothing. Only your good deeds. That is all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, make a rama to the people on earth. And the one on the top will make rama to you. That is all. Don't think that you can make someone's life miserable. That person will be sleeping, will be having a sleepless night and be saying, hmm, hmm, hmm. And you are expecting Allah to answer your prayers? No way. No way. You are wasting your time. Just a common smile could change the life of someone on social media. Just a common smile could change my life or your life. Show Rama to the people on earth, my man. You are nobody. I'm a nobody. Every single day we are suffering. People don't understand why is it that I'm in abroad and I don't have no papers? Why is it that I'm in abroad, I don't have no job? Why is it that I'm in abroad, I don't have money to go back home? I don't have nothing. I'm suffering in abroad. Why people's lives are making so easy? Why me? Go back and learn. Go back and, and see how many people you insulted them on social media. How many people you make their life so difficult. Then you will see that. You think in certain people, that is life? Anyone who doesn't have anything good to offer to the com this community or anything to offer to people, that is those people who could learn how to insult. And everyone can do an insult. Each and every one of us, even your own kids can do an insult. Insult is nothing. You know what you are going to say, but you don't know what is coming back after what you say. You know my house? You don't know how I know your house. If you want, the, uh, uh, the old people say, if you want to hear something, say something. <laughs> my Zongo community, my people, everyone, stay in your lane. Remember, you will die and I will die. We are nobody. Nobody. No Facebook followers. Nobody. You will be there by yourself. Manabi Yuka by yourself, you will see the consequences of what you did into this world, and I will see the consequences of what I did on this world. Wasmanak Allahumma bi amrik, the shahad wa Allah ilaha illa anta, the stafur kawa atubulay, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadun wa ala ali Muhammadin, wa sallim the push up king, Abu Kimalum Mangana.